On the next episode of Unspoken, meet Dr. Sausan Kamar, a Bahraini Member of Parliament, Deputy Chairman of the Services Committee, and a member of the Human Rights Committee. After only three months of preparation and a last-minute decision to run for a seat in Parliament, she won her campaign and today heads the capital second constituency. Before politics, she held the position of a consultant psychiatrist at the Ministry of Health in Bahrain, accumulating 20 years of experience. She also established a single-person company for consultation and self-development. Dr. Kamal gives us valuable insight on how psychiatry helped her pave a way into politics, the essence of finding your inner peace, and what it takes to run for office. Quick answer to uh, people who uh, put people down in their career. One thing they're going to tell you, you will never be able to make it. What's your answer? If someone made it before, I can make it. Yeah. You're not fit for the job. It's not your profile. You don't have the experience. Fine, thank you. But I will work on it. What uh, does Dr. Sausan uh, Kamal do when she's not in politics? What's her hobbies? Do you, are you into sports? Are you into art? What uh, are the things that you like to do? I meditate. Oh, really? Tell yeah. us about that. <laughs> Does it prepare you better for your meeting at the uh, at the parliament? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, how so? Actually, um, meditation gets you into like a, a zero point. Okay. Where you just clear up. Just set up the, the system. Mm -hmm. So it's not only that uh, it calms the mind and makes you prepared for the other day, but also uh, once you quieten your mind, you get uh, more thoughts, like more productive thoughts, mm -hmm. more energizing and uh, helping me to be myself. Okay. We're so happy today to welcome to our show uh, Dr. Sausan Kamar. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you as well, dear. Dr. Kamar is a member of parliament. Uh, in Bahrain, Deputy Chairman of the Services Committee and a member of the Human Rights Committee. In this International Women's Month of March, Dr. Kamal is going to speak to us about her amazing political journey and will give us insights on the opportunities and challenges women running for parliament encounter. The first parliamentary elections took place on the 26th of October 2002. It was the first time in Bahrain's history and that of any Arabian Gulf country that women ran for a seat in parliament. What did that moment mean for you? And was it a moment that brought about your intent to run for a seat in parliament in the future? Thank you for that question. Actually, um, let me talk first about my career. I started my career as being a psychiatrist in 1997. And in 2002, that was only five years after starting my career as a psychiatrist, I was too busy actually um, uh, continuing maintaining my, uh, my position uh, at work. And I had to sit for many examinations. Being, uh, being a psychiatrist, I, I, had, I had to sit for uh, the examinations for promotions. And um, uh, at that moment, I wasn't thinking uh, uh, about any uh, political uh, career. So, uh, uh, but my focus was on empowering myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, through the journey of being a psychiatrist, um, I had to uh, get into many workshops that uh, empowered me and uh, helped me get into uh, knowing myself more and what I want from uh, issuing like uh, as, a, as a life uh, purpose in, this, uh, in my life. Um, through that journey and uh, through the workshops that I attended, I discovered a bit of my abilities, being um, uh, able to, uh, to, be, to be, let's say, as a politician. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I started focusing on that. And at the uh, end of uh, 2016, I decided on uh, retiring, early retirement. So um, I... Uh, Proceeded with uh, after retirement, I proceeded with establishing a single person company, which was for self development and consultation. And I uh, was organizing some workshops, 
uh, to help others uh, build their self-esteem, uh, confidence, and uh, know themselves and discover their inner abilities. In this okay. okay. So uh, through that, after a year or so of those workshops, um, once the time came before the setting for the elections of 2018, mm -hmm. uh, just before like two, three months, I was just having, let's say, inspired by, by even others, like uh, friends were coming to me and telling me, why don't you sit for this election? Mm -hmm. uh, we find you like uh, being uh, a good, uh, let's say, candidate. Adult. Yeah, candidate. So I worked on that and uh, I had this vision to, uh, to, uh, to win. 2018 was a historic year, which saw more women running for a seat in Parliament than ever. Uh, six won, including your good self. Tell us about your campaign in the month ahead, leading up to your victory. Well, for my campaign, I had to have a plan, uh, a well-set plan to be started. I had to, uh, to prepare my uh, group, which would be working with me on distributing my brochures, mm -hmm. And uh, I had uh, a location where to, uh, to meet uh, the uh, constituents and uh, talk to them about my uh, campaign's plan and what I'm heading to uh, during uh, my uh, uh, parliamentary, uh, let's say, uh, journey. Um, and before that also, I, I had to really read the needs of the constituents. Uh, and what do they need me to focus on? So uh, mostly the issues were uh, about housing, uh, unemployment a bit, and uh, those are the main issues that we, I encountered. Uh, but being also as a psychiatrist and uh, let's say self-development uh, personnel in, in that field, I gave them um, a bit of uh, my ideas, which I'm planning to do. I, I put my plan into a brochure and distributed uh, to all the constituents. I had my social media on, uh, got into some interviews. Uh, the uh, Capital Second uh, constituency uh, is the one uh, where I ran, uh, focusing as well on uh, women issues, women and child issues, uh, health issues as well. So uh, trying to um, distribute my focus on all the subjects, let's say, to meet all the needs of the uh, constituents. Mm -hmm. How did it feel uh, the day that you were, uh, they were counting your votes and you were waiting anxiously? Tell mm -hmm. us about the nerves. Well, yeah. Um, it was so exciting. And uh, once you are waiting for the result, like um, definitely you will get nervous for that. Uh, but uh, there was a bit of more confidence. And for me, actually, uh, let me tell you this, like um, I get through uh, a, a journey or, uh, or a task whenever I feel that it is so enjoying for me yeah. and I don't wait for the results. So I, I expect it to be uh, winning or losing. Um, I don't have losing even in my uh, dictionary. Yeah. Uh, I consider it as a journey where I got a bit of experience and I've learned through it yes. and enjoyed it.